Hello everyone. Welcome back to the today's session on Informatica MDM. Today we will see what is Informatica Data Director. So far we have seen how to configure the Informatica MDM, how to run the job, how to populate the different tables and verify those. So once you are done with all those things, you can configure the Informatica da Data Director. What is Informatica Data Director? Informatica is earlier called as a BDD, that is Business Data Director. But once Informatica took over this application from the Cyprian, they named it as Informatica Data Director. Informatica Data Director is a web application which can be used by the business people, data steward, to view the data, to update the data. So it's a kind of admin kind of application or more business relevant application. But the business users cannot use IDD application directly. So as an Informatica hub developer or the IDD developer, we have to configure first Informatica Data Director as per the business requirement. And then we can give the access to the business user so that they can use from their end. So how to configure the Informatica Director, how to deploy, and the overview of this IDD application we will see in today's session. The preliminary things uh, required are, the first thing you have to properly configure the base object tables. Second thing, you have to provide the security access to all the different packages and the base object. And the next, you have to validate the ORS. So what I have done, I have created two tables, that is view address and the client. In the security manager, we have the secure resources. So you can go to the secure resources select you can find the various resources which are available in the informatica so far so go to that base object click and but provided that uh, you should have the right access so acquire the log if you select the base object here the several buttons are coming the first uh, button is nothing but the change resource status to private private means those resources only available in the informatica mdm hub console in order to make these resources outside this hub, we have to make it as a secure. So how can I make secure? Because this sign is for the making private. So just below that, there is one more sign which will help us to make secure. So you can, if you select secure, if you select this, it will make private. So if you see the toggle, it got private. I will make this secure because I'm going to use that in the IDD. So here also, you have to select that resource and you can check means as per your requirement. So this is I have done. So there are other things are also which we, we have made secure so that that can be accessed outside this MDM hub. But make sure this is very secure content. So those you can give the as per your security rules. Then I have went to the repository manager to the validate the schema. So you can select and make sure there are no errors. If there are errors, then your application will not work. So this is in the Informatica MDM 10. So the composite object and composite services might uh, cause an error. So if you have not applied the um, batch or if you have not applied the hotfix. So in order to overcome that error, you can go to the database and there is one corresponding table that corresponding means the composite object and composite service table is there you can just delete all the content from that i will show you that table it is repos table so this is a table uh, CL. The name of the table is C repo C O C S config. So if you see, so if you find any content and if you are getting any validation error with respect to a composite object, you can select all those rows and delete that. It will regenerate for you, but you don't have to worry about that if you are getting any error in the screen. So these are the first preliminary steps. The next step, the configuration thing. 
so we will go to the configuration console how can i uh, how can we go so just give the url of the server port number bdd and the config and once you hit that it will the it will migrate you to the config underscore login dot jsf so you have to provide username and the password and log into the application it gave me I don't want to go to that config here. Make sure you're providing correct password. So I, you will see this is screen. So this is the configuration screen where the IDT developers actually configure the application. So if you see at the top, you can change the language. So if you want to change any of this language, you can see all these names in that particular language. So it's a, this application is internationalizable. Then we have the help. So even the help can be in uh, that particular language can be created. We have the about information. So you can check the which version you are using. Currently we are using the 10 and some build releases there. We are also have the JBoss, so environment on which we are running. So my current application is running on the JBoss, so they are given the JBoss and with the version. That's cool. And the logout option. At the left side, as you are going to create multiple applications, those will be decided in this application section. You can see the history view, duplicate prevention, and the hierarchy manager, all extra functionality in the Informatica uh, data director. You can see the add button, import. If you already develop an application as a XML, you can use, you can import. If you have any zip file, you can import. Along with that, we have edit, delete, export, validate, state of the application. If you want to deploy fully limited, all those options are available. We have the clear cache as well, so that you can clear and redeploy. So these are the things available. So let's try to create one sample example click on the add button it will give you one pop-up which where you have to mention the name of your application going to be used by the business people So let's try to create. So we have click on the add button, give the name as a customer. You can give any name. The display name is customer. I'll give the description. This is first IDT application. Click OK. And this will create one application for us. Let me check something. So, in order to resolve that issue, what I did, I completely delete, deleted the application and I just created the simple thing I added. So, this will look like this uh, it will give the name, display name, whether it's validated or not. It will not validate yet because they are not configured the other thing. So, let's configure the next thing. Once you add it, just give the display name it will automatically generate one URL for you so that we can provide this URL to the end user and they can access the application I will click this customer so just what we have created so here you can see the save operation so if you are making any changes you can save once you save you can validate that so let's try to first append or just link or bind or ORS to this application. In order to bind the our CMX ORS, just click this add button. Here you have to give the name of the your ORS. If you have any multiple ORS, you can give. But for now, I'm giving just simple my CMX ORS. Click OK. And here you can bind the source system. If if, if you are going to specifically use this IDD application for CRM or the cells, you can use. 
but for now I'm going to bind with admin because it will give the more control it the one pop-up will come you should ask uh, ask you to use the same XORS or any other OS if it is already there so far we have only same XORS and the MDM sample I'm selecting same XORS click OK so this will bind that application I did application with this same XORS the next thing you need to configure is the subject area so just click on the subject area groups it will ask you to add the subject area group the name of subject area I will give the customer and the name is same make sure you have the ORS so whatever the binding you have done it will show that here the primary tables if you don't give any security secure privilege those will not be displayed in this primary table so make sure you have the secure privilege for that table in the MDM hub console click OK if you're going to use this application only for the search operation you can click this search button or if you're going to use for the update operation update, uh, don't uh, uncheck this search only button I'm clicking OK once you added the subject area group group you have to add the subject area so once you select that customer the other buttons will get enabled click on that subject area group add subject area I will give the uh, customer call so you can give any kind of customer because I'm going to filter out it so that's why I give the customer call you can give as per your business need this is just sample example you can like you can define only male or you can define women etc so you have the last name I'm giving the sub i'm just filtering out the record so that i uh so i'm showing the how to apply the conditions so we have not any specific condition if you are like the address type only the rest in the address the customer show or only business customer show so we can have that privilege so here if you see in the client table i'm going to use the client table so that's a, i'm check the last name because i am uh, so these are the columns we have SSN full name client ID last name first name so out of that I'm using the last name and I saw a few of the records which are more common like the Paul it's very common so that's I'm going to use instead of so it will not show the other record like PAU or or any other records so let's use that and uh, subtype column I have selected subtype value will be false so that I will just filter out the record a search display um, any package you are going to use I'm using put display pack, put client display pack uh, put client package and if any other thing here for now this is just we will go with the basic configuration instead of going into deep we will go in upcoming sessions in the below layout we can see the number of columns in the form of view so if you want to view uh, more columns you can view or if you want to only view three I can give the three column change so what columns you are going to see so you can select those columns I am selecting all of these columns then next uh, match setting if you have any match setting then you can give those are the rules which are already present in the hub you can select those search criteria you can define for the which field you are going to search and the other setting you will see all the settings in the upcoming session for now we are just doing the basic thing so we have gone to layout select few columns okay so we are added subject area similar you can add the address if you have any product you can add the product etc so you have the to the grandchild feasibility i will do i will do the save operation So now the ID application is being saved and the corresponding repos table will be populated in the master database. Then I will validate the application. So it's showing some errors. So what is saying the column CBO cloud that is right in the layout of owner subject area customer cannot be required field. So what we are going to do, we will remove that and it is like ensuring one more state management must be enabled for the subject area customer so those are the things we have to do so what we'll do I will go to this and I will show how to edit that click here and okay change the column setting click here 
and remove this is the first thing save it validate it so there is only one error that is state management related so what can i do go to, but make sure if you enable the state you can't revert so before doing any such things make sure you have discussed all these things with your business team so if your state is enable then you can't uh, once you enable you can't disable that so enable history is there what i'll do i will go to the we have the advanced section what we have we have the enable state management i will do that and save once you make this changes make a habit of validating ors it will actually because i did application and the mdm hub need to be in the sync mode if your hub is not validated then changes are not necessarily reflected in the, the idd so before doing anything uh, in the hub side which is being used externally make sure your ors is validated so i'm again saving the application for and then validating so it's showing the state management must be enabled for subject area group customer okay okay let me check out on this give me a moment hello everyone uh, so what i uh, what i did so i was saying that uh, validation error so if you saw here and if you try to validate it will show you some error so that a state management must be enabled so in order to overcome that or to ignore that error i will ignore that error just select that go to the application state and do the full deployment so it will give you the green arrow once you do that click that uh, url it will go to the your new page add me uh, this is the username and i'm giving the password and it will come you to the new application so this is the application which will be used by the data store in the next section we will see how to use this data store application and uh, how it is helpful for the business team thank you for watching video have a good time